got delivered. That actually was delivered about an hour or two ago, but I'm just about to unbox it for you guys to see. I'm really excited. The mirror is from IKEA, in case you're wondering. The problem with buying stuff online is getting rid of the packages. Look at the mess I'm left with. How do I throw this in the way? I'm just now realizing that I didn't officially welcome you guys to this vlog. So apologies, forgive my manners. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to my channel, you're welcome to the family. My name is Shida. I am Nigerian and I currently live in Houston, Texas. I hope you love it enough to want to stick around. If you've not subscribed, please, I would really, really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button, like this video. Um, just do everything to help me grow my channel. Um, the goal is to try to hit 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So um, I don't think that's too much to ask for, as long as I'm consistent, of course. <laughs> So I just got back from the African store and I'm about to cook. So I may have mentioned this before, but me and the kitchen, we don't really see eye to eye, but I've been super hungry and I've just been eating junk for the past couple of weeks. But today I want to change that. So I went to the African store, I bought okra. I used to eat okra when I was in Nigeria, but now I love it. I bought okra, I bought ilubo, if you don't know what ilubo is, ilubo is basically uh, made out of the back of yam. So it is dried and grinded into powder. So that's what it is. And I bought some plantain. This is most from my hair. And that's all I got. But I have this fish that I got from the farmers market no from the asian store last weekend and i have some turkey um smoked turkey here so that's what i'm going to be using to make the whatever i wanted to make seafood okra but i didn't remember to buy the old thing that makes it seafood so i'm just going to make okra combined with stew and then i'm going to make fish stew separate <music> Oh,
I'm about to paint my nails and this is the color I'm going to be using. to do before I would be able to go to bed tonight because um, I have a lot to do tomorrow so I want to make sure I plan out my day for tomorrow and actually I just finished editing um, some videos for TikTok and Instagram reels but I'm about to drink some tea right now so just like keep me going <laughs>
stuck between these two pants. This one is very big, so I love this style. I mean, the waist is very big, but I have like a solution for that. I have this pin that I got from Amazon that you can use to pin um, pants or skirts together. I really like this style, but it needs pressing. The other option is this one. Um, I love the style of this one also. But I don't know. I just really want to wear this pants. Alright guys, so this is the outfit I decided to go with. Um, I decided to go with the big pants. It is really big on my waist, but I was able to take it in a little bit. But this is how it's supposed to fit. Like this. I don't know, this video is not doing justice to this outfit, but I really like it and I love the fact that it is comfortable. My um, sandals are from Ziva. The pants is thrifted. The purse is from Shane. My top is thrifted. And what else? So I don't know if I should go with this sunglasses. I don't need to I've forgotten where I got this from. So I don't know if I should go with this or like this one. So I didn't mention where I was going. I'm going to. So I have a. Uh, houses they want to use one of them for Airbnb so I'm helping them decorate the place and then today's final day like I mentioned I'm going to be taking pictures making videos for them so that they can post them on their um, on Airbnb and also on their social media platform so yeah I'm going to be doing like some walk around um, and yeah so I told them to buy a few um decor pieces but i don't know if they bought it so i'm going to take some of the pieces that i have on my shelf here with me so that if they didn't buy them i'll use these pieces to um just set up the place take those pictures and then i'll take them back but every other thing furnitures beds couches um did i say furniture beds couches <laughs> furnitures um some things that they needed to decorate um what is it called rugs and all of those, they've already bought those ones and I already saw how they put it. I mean, I already went there and helped them put them together. Um, today is just like the final walkthrough, take pictures and I'll be done with them. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to use this bag that I bought from Ikea to pack these decor pieces. I have these two pieces that I put on my dresser. I'm going to pack those first. I just that I don't end up breaking anything. Okay. okay, let's take this one. I told them to buy some books. I don't know if they bought it. Who is calling me? Optum Pharmacy. I don't have time for you people. You are supposed to deliver my medication today. But you guys have chosen not to. Oh, fuck. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to curse. So, I am ready to leave the house. Ew, this thing is heavy. I just hope it doesn't break. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get back, okay? Don't miss me too much. And make sure you do not scatter the house because if you do that, I'm going to have a problem. Bye! Now, okay, yeah, don't mind me, I've been pressing the wrong thing. <laughs> Ah, well, I'm right too. Thank you. All right. All Let right. me know if there's anything. No problem, I will. All right, sweetie. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Rita. Okay, hi. So 
I left the client's house and I decided to stop by at the thrift store. So I want to come here and check on some pants to see if I can find some pants. So my boss told me this past Wednesday that I need to be going to the office every Wednesday at the very least. So I don't have any clothes that fit me anymore. And um, yeah, so I want to see if I can get some pants here. I can buy tops anyway, anyway. But pants are always trouble for me. Like, it's always very difficult for me to find any pants that fits my waist and is as baggy as I want it to be. If it's baggy, it's going to be very big on my waist. If it fits my waist, it's going to be very skinny and I don't like skinny pants. So yeah, let's see if I can find something that would work for me.
got the voiceover for um, a content that I created for a brand. And honestly, I'm stuck. So the way I do it is I'll write the scripts so that I don't make mistakes. Um, I already wrote the scripts down. Let me show you guys. It's, it's here on my iPad. But I need like the right word to use for the last part of the scripts. So it's a non-toxic ingredients. I don't want to say ingredients because it's a candle. So do they use ingredients for candles or... I don't even know. Smelling great is a non-negotiable for me and that includes my own, which is where no candle comes. <laughs> Shut up. Smelling great is a non-negotiable for me and that's where no... Shut up! Smelling great is a non-negotiable for me and that includes my home, which is where Notes Candle comes in. The candle is so good that you start to feel the impact in your home even before it's lit and it continues to linger hours after it's turned off. I love Notes Candles for many reasons, but my favorite part is the refillable system and the non-toxic components of the candle. We did it!